Hey guys, my name is Clint Post. I'm going to be talking about Dropbox Paper and how you can get the most out of the lists and tasks uh, options that it has. It's really great for being able to help you keep track of things that you got coming up and being able to collaborate with other people on it. So first things first, what is Dropbox Paper? Dropbox Paper is kind of like a digital whiteboard. It gives you access to simultaneously edit, create, design, and work with teams simultaneously. It also makes it really easy for staying on top of different tasks and being able to see what needs to be done in a very simple way. So let me go ahead and show you how you create and organize the folders and papers. This is the landing page when you open up papers.dropbox.com. You come here, you create documents, you can create a meeting document that's uh, there's some other applications there, but we're just talking about tasks. So in general, I use favorites because it brings up here, but it only shows the top four. You have to go in if you want more. So that doesn't really work for me. I use folders because I work with multiple organizations. And in the folders, obviously, are, are the documents or the papers. You create a new doc. It's self-explanatory. So folders and favorites are two of the easiest ways to be able to get to the document you need to the quickest. Today, all I'm going to talk about in this video is the keyboard shortcuts because the keyboard shortcuts is what makes this document a lot faster to work with. So you're not spending as much time trying to organize things. So to be able to create a checkbox, you're going to use the open bracket, close bracket, and then space. So open bracket is just to the right of the letter P, close brackets just to the right of that key, and you hit space. And there's your checkbox moving items up and down. So I've created a thing and I'm going to be moving it up and down. I hold on the Mac command, control, and then arrows up and down and it moves around. Headers, this is a header one. So all you do is hold shift, three, space. It brings up the number sign, hashtag sign. For a header two, it's two hashtags, two number signs in the space and a bolded Header three is three of the numbers and a space. It's really easy to do. You just get used to putting in the input and the space. And then to indent, all you have to do is, is have your cursor on the line and you hit tab. To unindent, you just need to hold down shift and then tab, and that unindents. And finally, hyperlinks. You can take a hyperlink, which I have here. Let's get rid of the hyperlink. So I found a website or a page where I have a hyperlink to a Dropbox uh, folder or document. I can copy it, so Command C. And then I come over here to the text that I want to use as a hyperlink. I can either click this little icon here or I can use a keyboard shortcut, Command K. And then to paste, Command V. And hit enter. And that's how you add a hyperlink. So those are the shortcuts. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about the tips and tricks using these shortcuts and how to make things really fast and effective.